Well, that's pretty fucking stupid. That's What's why that? I agree with him wholeheartedly about the racist comments. It's just no bullshit. Racism, is it? It's an illogical word. It makes no sense. You me, and, to... me and Lou were talking about on the way here. Italians were lynched. Biggest mass lynching ever in this country. New Orleans, Louisiana. Turn of the century. Did we cry about it? No. Catholics. I didn't yeah. like Catholics back then. The Klan had a vendetta. That's what, remember that commercial a couple years ago? The Verizon, the Calorios, yeah, the Calorios waving the their arms suits, around the you know, the typical like Italians. This. Remember that? The Goombas. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. Goomba, but, you know? Most of them are like that. So what? Showing them eating pasta at a picnic. What are you showing a bunch of spooks eating fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have thick skin in this life, you're not going to make it. Amen. You're going to get shit on no matter where you go. Jobs, women, whatever. So get used to it. That's what life's all about. Once you look beyond that, then you can worry about doing your own thing and excelling in life. And let the losers, I mean, you got to grow up sometime. So your adults say that. There's no such thing again. That's right. A little worm comment on uh, when you're talking about those girls outside of big lots. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's scary. Those underage girls. Give me a they break. Approached they us. came up to us. Obviously, hey, they were of age if they were working. They don't give a shit. They don't, they don't. The cutest blonde and black girl, 15. Big Lodge uniforms came up to me and Andrew, our biggest and hairiest. Hey, can we suck your dicks? <laughs> Smothering like you're going. And the sad part is we didn't do it. We were yeah. focused on the well, workout. So, well, when we're done, if we're, oh, yeah. when we get done, we'll be back <laughs> out. Yeah. We'll be back out when we get done lifting. We were going to do it, yeah. but it wasn't a priority. But they, then they, they were suck so your, excited. Your sway, hey, disgusting. Can dude. we it's suck your sad. dicks? A lot of missed opportunities, unfortunately. <laughs> How about the waitress who wanted us after we ate to yeah. shit on us? Wait, what? She was nice looking. She, she wanted was, to shit on you. She you wanted us to shit out. on her after eating this huge amount of food. How does that even come up with your with your server when you're out to dinner? <laughs> Can I get you question. folks some dessert or coffee? And would yeah, you like to shit on me? Was that the burger place? Where was it? It was a dunk. It was restaurant Bo Boynton. Oh, uh, she wasn't bad looking. She was young. And we were just talking about freaky things. Yeah. Uh, yeah that, imagine the stories these two assholes have to tell. Jesus. We had two or three entrees a piece and she went to say, Boy, my pump is enormous, thanks. Let's do the arms, honey. Uh, you can get away with that here, too. <laughs> That's for you, Dagan. <laughs> Look at that tan. It's impressive. Uh, needs a lot of work, pancake pets. That's a Planet Fitness Planet Fitness body. Planet Fitness physique. It's gonna stop. <laughs> Too many Tootsie Rolls and pizzas on Monday night. Fucking douchebag. Jimmy Metz. Yeah, go, Lenny. Back in the day, used to put the weight belt on and do it. Yeah, Let's go get fired up here. At 400 pounds. Uh, you have some explaining to do about your former Bronco brother here. What is this <laughs> weight assisted dip shit? <laughs> yeah, but look at the vascularity. I've never had that before. Jordan Hose veins in the forest. <laughs> oh, I took it. What? Get in that ring with him, please, Lenny. Yeah, get, get in that ring. Challenge somebody. Get ready for you. No liability. That's right. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate they come in there and they try to shoot, but they're such cowards. Nobody's getting hit. Nobody's winded, you know what I mean? They're, they're cowards, but you're all the way over here talking shit. They wouldn't have the ball together. You don't swing it through the fucking ass. Banging a female bodybuilder is like banging a dude without the stigma attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> banging a, a, a non tranny which is boring, you know. Remember You're gonna... my first show, Diana Cadu, she goes, ooh, I just had to come introduce myself. She was all over you. Yeah, she looked good all season. Feminine. She was doable. She probably could have gotten her pants, high yeah. sex drive. But I guess she's out of the promotion business. I was really going to do a show. Again, who brought popularity to her show? That video was almost 400,000. 2014. Views. Yeah, she yeah. recognized me from the movie. Little tight ass over there. <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat my lunch out of her rectum. 
<laughs> nice to shove it all in there and eat it out. We need to make a video like that. <laughs> or at least baby bird the food, you know. Baby bird. Chew the food and spit it in my mouth. I mean, I'm coming over a cold. Look at Smiley smiling at us again. See him over there? Just like he needs to get pissed because he's smiling at us. Amnon, see him over there? Yeah, he's, he's standing there smiling. Yeah, he's smiling at us. We were trying to lift him back in the day. We got pissed. I'm going to go over there and fucking knock his fucking teeth out. Big man, no good. He makes trouble with Haitians. Big man, no good. When it came to my work, that's what they were telling him. What's that? Big man, no good. He makes trouble with Haitians. Everybody knows Big Man's jealous for Edie. He makes trouble. <laughs> Donald Trump, no good. He makes trouble for Haiti. <laughs> they bombarded him. They hated me. Because when they said, I don't feel like doing it, I don't go in the fucking freezer. I said, you go in that freezer, you go home. I said, I'll go in the freezer and get overtime. Well, I don't want to go out in the rain. I don't want to kill myself, they say. I say, you know what? I'm going to go out in the rain and you're going home. And I'm going to make overtime. It's your choice. Oh, I'm no good. Bunch of cowards. <laughs> he really said that shit. Oh, my God. So that's right, my name is Delray Misfits. My name is Chris. I live in Chicago. I've been a fan of yours for a few years. I like watching your videos and look forward to new ones. The video is documenting... Condition of Lenny's apartment inspired me to help any way I could. I work as a custodian in an elementary school in the suburb of Chicago. I have access to commercial grade cleaning supplies and tools, so I donate a few things to help clean up and maintain his apartment. I know Lenny's stubborn, doesn't want to be a cookie cutter. But, <laughs> but you have to <laughs> use the supplies, yeah. not yeah, just exactly. have them. He still has a mop in there that he's, he still has not used, even though it just needs mop. Take care of Lenny and the rest of the misfits. I just want to help out a fellow human being. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Well, are you gonna use what does that say? Here, yeah? I have a bottle of liquid scour cleanser, a bottle of mint bowl cleanser, a toilet bowl brush. He sent you a list of what green you Green power have? sponge, yellow light duty sponge, oh, air neutralizer, rolls of garbage bags, microfiber cleaner cloths, multi-purpose cloths, bath and Hey, clothes. I might keep some of that stuff. And non mop will you'll use it. He it will. just needs mops. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. What a nice kid. Thanks. Very nice little care package there. Great. That he stole from the elementary school. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you, Chris. And if there's anything else I can do to help, yes, if you could help in the f process of trying to reach Christina Broccolini for a, a video of a meeting between us. And hopefully... I'll tell you what, Lenny. Use those cleaning supplies to clean your house. We'll come and film it cleaned. Oh, okay. And then this guy can work on getting you Christina Broccolini. But until Lenny cleans his house, no one try to help him get him to meet Christina Broccolini. That's fair. You got to clean your house first. With How this, hard can it be? Right. You have two full days off a week. Yeah, but... You know, it's a fucking great. disaster. Eh. Eh. It's going to take you a full fucking day. Yeah, it's not to clean that green mucus off the floor. That's... The why would you do that? Yeah, were you doing that? Were you hawking so up loogies on your I'm floor? I'm up when I'm in bed, and then I roll, reach over, and spit it on the floor. Why? Do you clean it up afterwards? No, I let it sit and calm. Why? It's fucking... It, I got to go back to sleep. That reminds me of uh, Caddyshack with Bill Murray and Chevy Chase, and the guy's like, poof, he spits on his floor. <laughs> Bill Murray. And he's like, Chevy Chase is afraid to sit or touch anything yeah, and drink yeah. out of his cups. Uh, hey, man, you want to hang out, just get weird with somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no need to shout me on a podcast. Yes, there is. Thanks, well, Chris. Did. Did. Too late. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chris. A nice kid. Make sure you use it. Thank you very much. All right. You sounded like Elvis when you said that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You probably die on the toilet, too. <laughs> Lenny, I got something in my system which is dying to come out tonight. I don't know what. Oh, That's boy. what you oh, used boy. to say, you're honest. Oh, boy. Or you'd say, guess what, I got a confession to make. Did you ever see the movie The Boys Next Door with Charlie Sheen? It's kind of an obscure movie from the 80s where they no. ride around in a primer car. And the guy, I don't know, the, other, the main guy, he's, he's like, 
talking to Sheen. He's like, I got stuff in my system. He's like, what do you mean stuff? He's like, I got to get it out, meaning he had to kill somebody. Oh, so shit. that's what he did. That's what the movie was about. <laughs> Good movie. I highly recommend it. The boys oh, next shit. door. Well, that's what Lenny always says. You got to get it out of your system. Yeah, yeah, I believe somebody. it. Yeah, not yeah. killed. Well, that's the movie. It just reminded me of that. Saying, you know, get something out of my system. He's talking about training, honey. Yeah. No, I don't really want a tranny. I, would, I want to see what it's, if it's still out up there. I haven't been up there in years. I'm curious. How is it going to shit? Look how hard and lean he is. He's not fucking lean. What are you smoking? He's fucking lean. That's not, dude, he could be a lot leaner than that. Yeah, well, I haven't dieted, so. Yeah. It's not bad. What do you want, Brad? Blood? Oh, he's fucking huge. Not so sure lean, yeah. What do you think of this? Dale. <laughs> Feast your eyes and take a good look. The biggest cat walking this stinking rotten planet. <laughs> Get off the needles, Dale, and pose down. Remember your flabby self, Dale, when you were drug free? Yeah. You're a far cry from that, Dale. I don't care who you are, six years drug free, we'll see what you look like. <laughs> look at those pecs. And that's the one you tore. Yep. Look at you two fucking homos. This is the infamous Deco Drive video that hopefully we'll have on the camera one day. Yeah, I wish I could find that. Those are the trendy There's a Deco Drive video, There's you two idiots. There's a Deco Drive video contest with me and him. Boy. Hosted by a tranny named Daisy Dead Petals. Oh, I remember this Red story. Hair. You remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking great. Who's got the footage She's today? sitting between me and Andrew. Andrew. She looks like a fucking toy doll. You and, have that on a VHS, really? Yes, and oh I can't God. find it. Well, maybe if you cleaned your place up, you might yeah, be able to I, find it. I, I got a good flexing for the He's workers over there. <laughs> hey, we got some fans over there. I love Lenny. There you go. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what do you think about that, Dale? <laughs> this episode's going to be a quarter million hits. <laughs> Flapjack tits in full effect, boy. Jesus Christ. Those barn door lats. Vascular. <laughs> oh, Go to the strip club like that, Lenny. It's I perfect. Intend to. Oh no. I'm coming for the warlord <laughs> with his fake weights on the five is plates. He there? Is he there today? I remember calling the warlord up when Andrew benched 550 his first Sean test. I said, "Guess what, Terry? Andrew benched 550. That's good for Andrew. He's got short arms." <laughs> Some kind of crack. Congratulations. Yeah. He called himself a friend. See, I'm, the, I'm here to put trailer to shame. Come in. <laughs> Let's go lick some ass, Brad. No, thanks. <laughs> Told you I don't eat ass. I'm going to eat food. Try it out. No. Try it out. Not me. That's just what you want to do. Is Let's grab lunch. Then we can that. talk about licking ass. Okay. We should be involved in the whole, <laughs> okay. the whole process. Okay. A one-stop process. Your dessert is the ass with you, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. Done it before and I'll is do it Tom again. Is that Tom Fromber getting that with those jeans on? <laughs> is that the Tom Fromber? I don't know if that guy's still alive. He was a complete piece of garbage. <laughs> Talk about an ass licker. There's this guy I work with. He looked like Captain Kangaroo, older guy. <laughs> he used to go into X-rated video places. Anonymous guys come up and he'd lick every guy's ass without even looking at him. All they would do is sit, go to this one dark area of the theater, pull their pants down, spread their cheeks, and he'd lick their ass anonymously. <laughs> he'd get us into those food shows, we get all the yeah. free food, we watch for Bring him, a bunch of faggots them. with him. Yeah. And he kept coming up. Those, those Cheney Brother food? Yeah. 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 He used to get us in. Then he'd be with him there, then he'd have a hotel. They kicked him out one year because there's bloody condoms all around the yeah. hotel room. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he bring on, then he asked me and Andrew to come to the hotel. Oh. I said, for what? He goes, there'll be a lot of smoking and stroking. <laughs> it's like, God <laughs> damn. Remember the sense. time the Judas Priest guy wanted to take us out to Outback yeah. and Lenny saw him wearing those jeans? He's like, Lenny's like, oh my God, get me out of here. He looks like Judas yeah, Priest. He would take us to Outback anytime he wanted free. Gentleman Jim's own a steakhouse. Anytime we wanted to come and eat free, we did. So we come in, we both had $200 tabs, two or three steaks, prime steaks, and we didn't even give the servers a cent yeah, I'm ashamed as a that. tip. 
And then they told the owner they're, they're going to quit before they ever serve us again. Remember Mike P, you'd go out with him, he goes, Lenny, you better leave a tip. Yeah. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> well, his ass says he wants to sleep. His ass is better me as a diamond dolls and get us a fucking hookup. Well, so didn't come he on, say, man. Did he up. say he was going to be there or not? Yeah, let's go. Are you Martin sure? King of Powerline, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Dorian, dude. All the food, liquor, and ass you can lick because it's going to be taken care of. Yes. And I reminded the story of uh, Roy, racist Roy, the old cop from the gym who said he came into a club in New York. And there's an old-fashioned bathtub, and this guy's sitting in a fucking men's room of the gay club with a sign around his neck. An old man looked like Santa Claus that said, please piss on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went in the night, and uh, no, no doors on the stalls, and uh, these couple fruits are like, where are you guys from? Lenny's like, San Francisco. Like, All right, I heard anything goes out there. Just trying to blend in, you know. And of it was, uh, they had dancers, a couple <laughs> male dancers, all dudes in there. The only girl was smoking hot, a uh, Spanish girl was with the one guy. They had extensions in their pants, didn't even look real. So the guy gets off the stage and goes all the way around, me and Lenny are all around. For the, the purpose of what? Yeah, they're feeling him up, they're like, can I touch it? He's like, yeah, go for it. Just Where he's wearing up. a fucking jock strap. Yeah. Guys are giving him money just to touch his dick. He okay. comes up to me, smacks me in the stomach. He goes, you got some for me, big man? He starts <laughs> grinning at me. I'm 340, bald. I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, if he Andrew's the only gonna... one he glanced at yeah. and walked away. He looked at me. He goes, uh-uh. He, goes, he didn't even bother. He made a beeline. He comes up and smacks me in the gut. I was yeah, like, oh, he knew you were the true fruit. You fucking, <laughs> you little dirty homosexual, you. You got, you fucking. Then when we're leaving, these two, research two guys purposes. pull up, they're like, where are you guys going? We're like, we're out of here. And they're like, oh shit, we missed out. We went over to the kitten club with those nasty women. They looked like they were pregnant, these older women. Ah, oh, C-sections. Most, most hideous yeah. things over there. And this old white trash told me. <laughs> she said to me, club. what the hell did she tell me? You're so cheap, you need to get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting with no teeth. <laughs> You guys are I, I figured I'd made a comment and she goes, You have no room to talk, you're the cheapest son of a bitch ever walked in this place. I'm like, get the fuck away from me. Then when we would bounce, the places would close it to. We went to Cashmere in West Palm, it was a gay club. All these little, oh my god, these fruits walking around. He gets up on the stage, takes his shirt off, starts posing. The bouncer's like, please tell your friend, I don't want any problems. Get him off the stage. Oh my god. He was fueling up this little black, I think it was a tranny. Yeah, it was He's like, like oh. a half one, yeah. We <laughs> pulled like, our oh, dicks okay. out and I was <laughs> rubbing my dick on hers. And oh my god. She got all you excited. You fucking homos. I knew you two were fucking queers. No, I didn't do that. I was. What the fuck you going to a gay club? That was an old man. Train. What do you mean to infiltrate? <laughs> This guy was like 80 years old, and he came up to us and noticed, tried to talk like a tough guy, saying that, I know why you guys are here, you just want your dick sucked. <laughs> yeah. Plain and simple. He goes, you're not, you're not faggots, you just want your dick sucked. And I'm like, no. They had drag queen nights. No, I mean, it was just shits and giggles. We take G, you know, place closed, we already got paid. It's like, let's go out. We do that. We walk around Riviera Beach in tank tops, all the only white dudes on, with impunity, going to black yeah, we clubs. We did that a lot. Yeah. Exclusive black clubs, like rented out to West Palm. We're the only white guys in there. Well, they knew nothing. Cop and Fields. They knew crazy. <laughs> cop and Fields left and right. That or they thought you were cops. I don't know. We got That's under the jeans, like, take your shirt off. I had the wife beater. It was like 290 pounds. It was after the first show, so had a lot of sides, but I was like leaned down. Walking around, I was like starting to get hammered on that GHB, and they saw the looks on our faces. They're like, "Oh shit!" Well, I people thought us were cops. We went to a biker bar, like twitching, like geeing out, walking around the place. And it's like, <laughs> There's a biker bar in Lantana called Nothing Fancy, <clears throat> and we really didn't know at the time. We didn't care. We went up there, and all these fucking bikers are getting real paranoid. And the waitress said, "They think you guys are cops." I said, "I don't give a fuck what they think." You know what? What do you even do? You got something to do? Step up to the plate. Bunch of flabby, flabby ass bikers. I'm more intimidating on my fucking two wheeler than you on your fucking Harley fat boy or whatever you call them. You fat cookie cutter wimp creep. 